Hey everyone, Shane Hummus here. Ever wondered how a cow gets pregnant without a bull around? Well, you're gonna find out today because somebody's gotta do the job and it actually pays pretty well too. Welcome to the wild world of artificial insemination. Just one of the dirty side hustles that we're gonna be diving into today. Now, before you click away thinking, Shane, what the heck are you talking about? Stick with me because today we're gonna be exploring 10 accessible dirty side hustles that could seriously change your financial game. And when I say dirty, I'm talking about hands-on jobs where you might literally get your hands dirty. Oh, come on! But trust me, the payoff can be worth it. We're looking at side gigs that could earn you anywhere from 50 to even $500 per day, depending on your hustle. Now you might be wondering, Shane, how do you know about all these weird jobs? Yeah, how? Well, let's just say I've had my fair share of unconventional experiences. From living in a tent in a forest as a kid to selling eyeglass cleaner at fairs, I've learned that sometimes the strangest opportunities can lead to the biggest rewards. So let's go ahead and dive into our first side hustle, which is artificial insemination of livestock. And yes, it's exactly what it sounds like, and no, it's not for the faint of heart. Okay, all right. Now, the most interesting aspect, you're literally creating life and it's messier than you think. But here's the kicker. You can earn between 50 to $100 per animal. So do a few cows a day and you're looking at a pretty nice payday. Now, a key tip for getting started with this is to reach out to local farms or veterinary clinics for training opportunities. You'll need to learn the ropes before you start, well, handling the ropes. Okay. And all joking aside, working with animals does remind me of when I was nine and I helped out at an animal refuge. And if I could do that, artificial insemination doesn't seem so scary. Now, if you're enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up because it helps me know what content you like and keeps me motivated to create more. Next up, we've got composting services. And this one's for all of you eco warriors out there. And the coolest part, you're literally turning trash into treasure. Food scraps and yard waste become rich, valuable compost. And you can earn anywhere from 20 to $50 per household per month, depending on your service model. Now, a top tip here is to start in your neighborhood, offer a free month to get people hooked on the service, and then start charging them after that. Trust me, once they see how much it reduces their regular trash, they'll be sold. Plus, it's good for the environment. Next is going to be dumpster diving and reselling. And this one is close to my heart because I used to do this all the time. And the most surprising thing is just the sheer value of stuff that people throw away. I've seen people throw away perfectly good electronics, furniture, you name it. And earnings can vary wildly, but skilled divers can easily make $100 to $200 a day reselling their finds. Now, key advice here is to make sure that you know your local laws because in some areas, dumpster diving is technically illegal, so make sure you do your research. And this reminds me of when I was in college and I would basically just go to all of the frat houses and sorority houses right when the semester was ending and everyone was moving out and I would see what they were throwing away because a lot of the time they'd end up throwing away perfectly good TVs. So these rich kids who, you know, had their parents buy them TVs and all kinds of other nice stuff would just literally throw them away even though they're perfectly good and I would just pick them up and then sell them online. But people who take this a little more seriously can go and collect different types of metal like copper and then if you collect enough copper you can actually sell that for a really pretty penny. And this one is all about finding value where others don't see it. Now, while these side hustles can certainly bring in extra income, they often do require a lot of physical labor and time. And if you're looking for something with more scalability and higher earnings, consider tech sales. Take Kevin, for example, a former construction worker who transformed his career in just 29 days. I, I signed up with Course Careers on February 2nd or 15th of this year. And I signed the offer sheet from Dun & Bradstreet on March 16th. So I'd say about a month and a day. After leaving a job with uncertain security, he completed a tech sales course and landed a $65,000 remote job with Dun & Bradstreet. Kevin now enjoys job stability, flexibility, and the freedom to work from anywhere. And you can check out the free tech sales course from Course Careers in the description and or the pinned comment below. Next is going to be junk removal. So before you were diving into junk, this one is actually even more lucrative in some ways, and that's junk removal. And it's all about helping people declutter their lives. And the unexpected bonus, sometimes the junk you're removing is is actually valuable. Go! I've heard of junk removers finding antiques, rare collectibles, even envelopes of cash. And you can charge between 50 to $200 per truckload, depending on the amount and type of the junk. Now, a pro tip here is to invest in a reliable truck or van because your vehicle is your moneymaker in this business. I love it, I love this car. Now, with that being said, in some cases, if you know you already have the job, you can rent a truck from somewhere like Home Depot. 
or you can borrow a truck from a friend. And this is something that I also did in high school. I helped people remove their junk, and in some cases, I'd help people move stuff from point A to point B. Now, by the way, guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts, so drop a comment below about which side hustle you found most interesting or share your own unique side hustle experiences. Next is going to be pressure washing, and there's something oddly satisfying about watching grime disappear under a high pressure stream of water. The cool factor, the instant gratification. You can see the results of your work immediately, and so can your clients. Now, the earning potential here is solid. Think $50 to $100 per hour once you're established. And a really good tip for getting started here is to practice on your own property first and get a feel for the equipment and how to handle different surfaces. I love it. I love it. And another pro tip here is try to sell stuff to people who have money. I said I'll take it. So this is something that isn't that well known, but people who have money actually don't care about money that much. And so they're willing to give it away in exchange for time or convenience. And so if you're selling to people who have money and you just set up regular monthly or weekly pressure washing sessions, then that can be an incredibly nice stream of cash for you. Now, this is one that you could potentially start with a friend as well. So share this video with a friend if you think you know somebody who wants to do side hustles. And yeah, it's a really good one. Lots of people post about this one on social media. There's high demand for it. Next is going to be scrap metal collection. Now, this one's for modern day treasure hunters. And what's fascinating is how much metal we throw away without realizing its value. So from old appliances to construction waste, it's all potential money. Now, earnings vary based on metal prices, but a good haul can net you $100 to $200 easily. So a key tip here is to learn to identify which types of metals are most valuable. Copper and brass are worth way more than steel, for instance. So this is one where you could go to the junkyard and find the metal. You could go dumpster diving like we talked about before. You could be cleaning clutter and haul that stuff away, etc., etc. Next is going to be car detailing. And this one's for all of you perfectionists out there. Perfection! In the unexpected aspect, it's not just about cleaning, it's also about restoration. This car. A really good detailing job can make a 10 year old car look brand new. And you can charge anywhere from $50 for a basic job to $200 for a full detail. Now a pro tip here is to invest in quality products and learn paint correction techniques, because in many cases that's where the big bucks are. Another thing you can do is combine your detailing business where you're basically cleaning the outside of a car with also cleaning the inside of a car as well. Now another way to earn money that offers more scalability and less physical strain is through digital content creation. For instance, you could do any one of these side hustles, simply record yourself doing them, and then upload the results online. But you're probably wondering how exactly do you make money from that? Because it's not just AdSense or sponsorships where you can make money. Other ways are much better. And I have a free crash course on exactly how you can monetize your YouTube channel, which I'll put down in the description and the pinned comment below. Next is going to be gutter cleaning. And this is not the most glamorous job, but it's definitely necessary. And the surprising part, what you find in gutters. I've heard stories of people finding everything from lost jewelry to bird's nests. Now the earnings here are solid, usually about 50 to $100 per house. And it can be more for larger homes. And some advice to get started here is to invest in a good ladder and safety equipment because safety first always. Always. And with almost all of these, the best way to get started is to either put out flyers, let your friends and family know that you're doing it, or just simply go and knock on people's doors. Now, by the way, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and hit the bell icon so you'll be the first to know when I upload new videos. Next is going to be pet waste removal. Yeah, we're talking about poop scooping. And the unexpected perk, it's recurring service. Once you have a client, they usually need you week after week. And you can charge 10 to $15 per week per dog. And once you get a bunch of clients, it all adds up fast. And a key tip here is to offer for a discount for multiple dogs or referrals. Word of mouth is huge in this business. Next is going to be graffiti removal. And this one's about restoring the beauty of our communities. The cool factor, you're like a reverse artist, making tags and murals disappear like magic. Magic. And earnings can be substantial. Think $50 to $100 per hour for residential jobs and even more for commercial work. And a pro tip here is to learn different removal techniques. Some graffiti comes off with pressure washing, some need special chemicals. Now, one big thing here is to always prioritize safety. These jobs can be dirty, but they shouldn't be dangerous. Safety first! And you wanna start small and then reinvest in your business. Plus you wanna network and build relationships because word of mouth can be your best marketing tool in these industries. And by the way, if you wanna know even more dirty side hustles, I did make a video about those and you can check that out by clicking right here.